Joe Rogan is going to provide us, inadvertently so, with a really important lesson, and this is how misinformation spreads, at least one of the ways that it spreads. Usually, I think it's probably a game of telephone of sorts between podcast hosts, where they'll hear one of them say something, then they'll repeat what they've heard, and then, you know, before you know it, it spreads. But Joe Rogan is going to seethe over a story coming out of Australia, ostensibly, and uh, basically this is a story about how they're going to ban people in a certain area from growing their own food. The story on its face sounds absurd, and if I saw this headline, I would think twice and maybe question it. I think a lot of people with BS detectors would maybe think twice before just accepting this, but not Joe Rogan. So he's going to talk about why this is so bad, how absurd it is that the government would take away so much rights from people, and then he's going to find out the story is completely bogus. Take a look. You know, I want to find out what this is, but I read something briefly and I didn't get into the article, but they were saying that they were trying to pass a bill that would outlaw you growing your own food mm -hmm. in Australia. Oh my God. Did you read that? No. Nah. It was a part of Australia. I think it was New South Wales. Someone was trying to pass a law that won't allow you to grow your own food. Oh and they were saying, well, you could grow your own food, and what if the disease is from your food? It infects the population, kills us all. Oh, we can that. have that. Oh, they pulled that, that card. I want to know what, what their justification was, but I'm pretty sure it had to do with, like, agricultural contamination or, you know, like... I mean, you could justify it if you're a real piece of shit. You could say, well, you know, most pandemics have come from agriculture, animal agriculture. Mm. We can't have unchecked <laughs> pig ownership. That's not fair. We can't if you're growing vegetables. What if your vegetables have ergot in mm. them and diseases? <laughs> fucking creeps man <laughs> these fucking creeps they they got a good grip on people during the pandemic they locked yeah. everybody down in australia and then you know what we gotta stop these motherfuckers from growing their own food because that's how you fucking smoke out an anti-vaxxer yeah. make, make you can't even grow the go to the grocery store anymore and you can't grow your food no dependent take that shot bitch <laughs> do you find anything no. you are now dependent upon um, the state passes bill I mean, I know what to look for. I'm just it's not nothing is coming up. Uh, the closest thing I could find was something like this. I don't. That's not new what food. No, it's not. Saying. It's not New, oh, Zealand. It's new Zealand. It's in. Uh, it's in Australia. I know, but this is close. New Zealand is like right around the corner. Could have. Um, There's got. It's got to be a, a real thing. Mm. It seems too good to not be. It's. It's obviously. Um, uh, Tyson uh, outlaw growing food in Australia, and nothing. Not a single thing comes up. Hmm, hold on. Except for that, which was a false thing. Growing your own food. They want they want us completely dependent. Yeah, I can't find it either. Oh, Damn no. it. it! Better not be fake. <laughs> it might be fake, but it, that, even if it's fake, right? Like the fake is usually the warning. Sir, I don't know who you are, but please, for the love of God, stop being so stupid. I could create a story about anything. Um, there were flying demonic monsters with horns and wings spotted off the coast of Astoria. Um, is that some sort of a warning because it's out there? What are you even saying? Like, this is the problem with Rogan's guests. He'll bring on somebody who has no unique thoughts of their own most of the time, and they'll just be a yes man. Just affirm everything that he's saying. Yes, they want you completely dependent. Government is bad. Um, well, you know, even though this story is fake, maybe it's a warning. Is it, though? Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that this is a warning, this fake story? I just, Jesus Christ, I, I feel like, as a society, there's so many people who just proudly wear the fact that they have no common sense on their sleeves. There should be more, like, self-awareness here. I, I mean, especially if you're going on this podcast where you're going to be broadcasted to millions and millions of people. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Now, I've got to say, before I talk about what Joe Rogan was discussing here, that impression that he did of the supposedly authoritarian Australian politician trying to ban people from growing their own food, that was so cringeworthy, it made me want to jump out of my skin. But I mean, he's the comedian and I'm not. So maybe my little non-comedian brain can't fathom the inherent hilarity of that impression where he makes himself look like a fool. 
Um, but he starts to really go down this path as to why the government would possibly want to implement this law. Uh, that's how you smoke out an anti-vaxxer. You can't even go to the grocery store anymore and you can't grow your own food. Boom, then they have to get the shot, right? Um, except how many anti-vaxxers were basically sustaining themselves for months, years during COVID lockdowns by growing their own food and raising their own livestock? How many people actually like functionally lived off the grid i mean do you really think that this would be a ploy to get people to take the vaccine isn't there more effective methods to get people to get vaccinated like going through employers i mean when you think about these types of things for more than a few seconds you begin to realize okay this really doesn't make a lot of sense but he's convincing himself like he's not thinking it through he's getting more amped up as he speaks about this because of how absurd this is and and sure like if this were true this would be absurd he'd be right to be angry but it's not true and it's absurd but thankfully he got fact-checked by his producer uh, who i believe is named jamie and it almost seemed like he was irritated that jamie couldn't find this bullshit article like jamie was trying to find what he was talking about but it didn't exist because it's not real. Now, the question is, where did Joe get this idea? And uh, my initial thought was, well, of course, it's got to be somewhere on Facebook. This is how a lot of boomers come to political uh, conclusions. They saw it on Facebook. And sure enough, this image has been circulating around Facebook. And it's about the Agriculture Legislation Amendment Bill of 2022, which will supposedly ban people from growing their own food. Of course, this is not true. I mean, we all have to have conversations with our loved ones who are older, who are new to the internet, and explain to them why everything that you see on Facebook isn't necessarily true, and you need to be diligent and think about whether or not what you're seeing is real. Find a different source. Uh, try to, you know, question the reasoning of what's going on. Like, we have to have this conversation. I've had conversations with people in my family about this. Uh, and I feel like it's it's landing. Like, I feel like it's helping them to figure out what is and isn't bullshit on the internet. Like, people need to know how to decipher these things. So we all, I feel like, have to find some way to talk with our loved ones, older ones specifically, about this thing. Joe Rogan, um, his, someone near him needs to have this conversation with him. But there's more details about this. So NBC News reporter Brandi Zandrosi gives us some more information about where this myth originated. She says, Twitter search shows lots of folks claiming the same. A lot of the videos and tweets include a screenshot from something called Apex World News. So, who is Apex World News? The account is a typical breaking news type of misinfo account. No ownership listed, spammy, and unverified content. It does list the website, but expired. To the Wayback, site looks junky, serves ads, and much of the content is authored by a Grace Sawali. There is a person on Twitter with this name not linking, and she shares a lot of Apex World News links. She's also deeply religious and a fan of one particular preacher, Ubert Angel, a British Zimbabwean who preaches the prosperity gospel. Uh, God wants you to be rich and he'll make it so if you give me money, uh, I don't know, just go with it. And a little Googling shows us that Angel founded Apex in 2020. Just for good measure, we can take a look at the website and domain tools and see that Apex shares a mail server IP with other sites, including those that clearly belong to the preacher. So I wouldn't get my news from a so-called prophet's junk news site, but you know who might? Rogan fan, vaccine critic, ivermectin-loving friend of the intellectual dark web, Chris is a self-described financial analyst and founder of a self-help slash actualization thingy that's definitely not an MLM. So it's a junk news website created by the founder of a pyramid scheme. Now, there's a lot of these junk news websites that exist. They form to essentially get clicks and it's all about the ads. They don't even really need to put content there. Sometimes if you go to a legit news website, there'll be an ad that pops up with fake headlines if you don't have ads uh, disabled. And it'll show like these weird bombastic headlines, just insane things, just untrue. They're essentially tabloids. And all they want is for you to click on them so that way they get ad revenue. It's not even about generating news. It's just about getting clicks so you get to see their ads. That's all that it's about. So the goal isn't necessarily even disinformation. It's just about making money. So these things are out there. They exist. And so Joe Rogan was duped by it. And, you know, I'm glad he caught himself here. I'm glad that he was fact-checked. But imagine if he just spread this lie to his audience of 11 plus million people. 
how quickly other people would be parroting this, how quickly this would devolve into a gigantic conspiracy theory. This is why I hope that this triggers some level of self-awareness. And Joe Rogan thinks, okay, I really need to think more about the things that I say to my 11 million followers. I need to be more introspective myself. I need to maybe vet these sources that I find. And if I see a headline on Facebook or a meme on Facebook, perhaps I seek out you know, uh, a source, find out what this is really about before I talk about it on my massive, massive platform. But I mean, maybe that's too much to expect from the number one podcast in the world. But I mean, it's like, you know, for me, I have a much, much smaller audience than Joe Rogan, but I feel an absolute sense of responsibility. I want to make sure that whatever I say is accurate, it's verifiable, and that you can Google what I'm saying and fact check me yourself, right? But he just doesn't seem to have that responsibility. But nevertheless, I'm glad that he caught himself. But just let this be a lesson, Joe Rogan, that you can't just pick up every single stupid fucking thing that you see on the internet. You actually have to do a little bit more than just reading a headline or seeing a meme on Facebook. When you acting like a beta, 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 beta. Man, not a